And the increased use of, of natural gas produced in that region, including Pennsylvania, has been estimated to be about 60 percent of the reason why we led the world in reducing emissions as a country since 05. So big picture, the issue is how do you reduce emissions, keep costs down, and be reliable? That's the long-term challenge. The short-term challenge is every country out there that's relying on Russian oil and gas, we should be doing everything we can to get our energy over there because it's also going to be used more sustainably because I can guarantee you, as, and uh, you can see the Boston Globe feature from a couple years ago when an LNG tanker uh, came into Boston. When we got shale gas in northeast Pennsylvania, it's the most prolific in the world. I definitely want the producer standards in my state versus Putin's regime. We saw what that led to. Do you know what the difference between the two standards are? Uh, it's, it's, it's an order of magnitude. I mean, okay. it's, yeah, it's so much so that even if you count for transportation across a tanker, shale gas in the U.S. shipped across the seas is more sustainable than pipe coming in from Russia. Because they're not using electricity in the ships to bring them here? They, they have combustible motors in them? Right. Yes, sir. Okay, that's what I was thinking. And trucks to get them to point A to point B, since we can't build pipelines in the East Coast right now. Right. Uh,